Hello, my name is Chad Adams. I work with Skeleton Key in St. Louis, Missouri, and this is the first in a series of videos dealing with some of the text parsing functions. Okay, in this example we're going to deal with the left, left words, and left values function. We'll be using this block of text for our examples. <clears throat> so what does left do? Left is going to return the number of characters that you enter for the given text that you tell it to look at. So we're going to look at my text block and we're going to say one character and that should return this J force. And there we see it. If I were to enter four, we'd see J O H N. If I got five, it's going to grab J O H N plus the space, which we can see by putting the cursor right there. Okay? So left is going to grab however many digits you tell it to grab by entering the number right there. What happens when you change that to left words? If I choose left words, I also get John no space, it's not going to grab whatever it recognizes as a delimiter, and it recognizes all kinds of things as delimiters. We'll talk about that in just a second. If I look at left words 2, you can see I get John Doe, and left words 3, I get John Doe and Jane. Okay, so let's talk real fast. What are delimiters? Um, let's come back and do 1, and then we'll monitor that here and take a look at this. So John Doe, we got the spaces delimiter, and pretty much any um, symbol that you enter is going to be recognized as a delimiter. So we'll take out the space, we'll see what happens, I get John Doe. Well, what happens though when I put a period back in there? Well, just so happens, the period is not a delimiter. The other one that's not the delimiter is the apostrophe or the single quote. That is also going to be counted as one word. But if I come back in and I put, say, a dash, that's going to be a delimiter, and so it's going to leave it off for me. If I put a uh, dollar sign, for example, that's going to be a delimiter and I don't get anything changing there. If I come back and I enter um, the ampersand, any of your symbols that I've found other than, you see I put the ampersand in the wrong spot when we got J-O-H, sorry about that. You can, any of these, these symbols that I've found um, are in fact counted as delimiters except for the period and the apostrophe. Let's jump back in over here. So left words is going to look at delimiters in the text to determine how many units it's going to grab for you. So left words, one, it's going to grab John because it recognizes the space as a delimiter. What about left values? Left values is essentially going to do the same thing, only it's going to use carriage returns only. So I got John Doe, and we've got a carriage return on the end, so we only grab that one. If I get two delimiter or two values, I get John Doe and Jane Doe. The thing to remember with left values and all the other values um, uh, functions with the exception of get values is that you end up with the carriage return. What do I mean by that? Well you got John Doe, carriage return, Jane Doe, and if you look here my cursor goes down to the next line because it grabs the carriage return off the end of Jane Doe as well. So John Doe, Jane Doe, carriage return is on the end of your result when you use left values. So if we come take that back, one John Doe, carriage return on the end. We can see that that does not happen whenever you use the other functions. Um, left words, if we look at two here, it recognizes that carriage return as a delimiter, but it doesn't grab it as a part of the result. 